It is appalling that this meeting took place, but this tweet in and of itself is not the pulling out the Jenga block that makes the whole tower of lies come crumbling down. Let's talk about the law. You are not supposed to obtain things of value or attempt to obtain things of value from a foreign source, even a foreign national, no less a foreign government for your campaign. You cannot collude, conspire, all those words that we've learned are synonyms for each other, with a foreign government to deprive the American people of a free and fair election. If you are getting this dirt from Russia, and it is intended to change the outcome of the election, that is a piece of a potentially broader and potentially forthcoming conspiracy case to defraud the United States of a free and fair election. And finally, let's discuss how this collusion is different from what the president has just been tweeting about the Hillary Clinton campaign with the Steele dossier, a really big difference. In one case, Trump's an emissary of a foreign government. Have I said that enough? Foreign government came to you to offer you dirt on your opponent because the foreign government, it was said in the emails, wanted to see you elected. In the other case, a campaign was doing Actually, as the president has said, what campaigns generally do, they investigate their opponents. There is no rule that says if you investigate somebody's opponents, you can't make overseas phone calls. You can't talk to overseas sources. You are allowed to collect information. You are allowed to pay somebody to do that collection. But asking for it is really very different from being the, if it's what you say, I love it, bring it on attitude that the Trump campaign had towards information that as far as it knew and was told was being peddled by the Russian government. Big difference.